Hello, my name is uh, Amin, Mr. Amin, uh, and I teach in computer science. So I am from the UK, and I've also have family in East Africa, in Somalia. Uh, international bird days, bird day, congratulations. Um, I think uh, birds are very important uh, because they give us, the, well, they're part of the, the environment, part of the ecosystem, and I think we need to pay more attention and uh, consider how important birds are for our environment. I know that living in Kazakhstan, we don't see many birds because of the uh, climate. So a lot of the birds fly to different parts of the world, migrate, and uh, so we don't really get to appreciate birds. But as when I go to the UK, when I travel to East Africa, then you do start, you see different types of birds, you can sit outside, listen to the birds sing, and you appreciate the impact that they have on improving our environment. And I think that we need to pay more attention to the birds uh, because of, you know, if birds are, if we lose the birds and the, song, the, the songs of the birds, then our environment will be, become, uh, you know, um, not as good. So we need to make sure that, uh, you know, we can hear the, the songs of the birds and we can appreciate it. So, and also we can, you know, if they are starting to die out, the numbers are reducing, we need to ask ourselves why. What are we doing as humans to have an impact on the lifestyle and the habitat of the birds? You know, we should think of our impact, whether we need to change as a species, because if we're having an impact on other species, then that's a bad thing and, uh, you know, not a good thing to pass on to the next generation. Okay, thank you. New Zealand does not celebrate International Bird Day, but because my mother-in-law was a bird fanatic, I am aware of Bird Interna International Bird Day. New Zealand is, as a nation, are very protective about our birds because we New Zealand's native birds are very rare and many of them are flightless, and that's due to the fact that they there's been no predators. Therefore, they've been able to forage, gather their food on the forest floor. We have several flightless birds. That some are extinct, which is the famous mower, which is related to the ostrich emu. But they, the, the Maoris, the indigenous people, hunted them for food and they died out about 300 years ago. The kiwi, there's many species of kiwis ranging from little birds to big kiwis they have no wings white heron which is a beautiful it's the largest of the herons internationally globally and there is what you know, one major nesting site in the world and that is in New Zealand um, the pukeko which flew over in a massive storm from Australia about 500 years ago. It had wings then and because well, since it's been in New Zealand its wings have shrunk to basically it is almost wingless now which is of interest to scientists about how wings evolve and de-evolve in birds. Very recently the New Zealand mountain parrot which is not well, no, called the Kia, and you know it's by its piercing noise, Kia, Kia, um, and it's very mischievous, very funny bird, and they've done some research and identified um, the intelligence of it, um, and yeah, so that's exciting, new bird scientists globally. New Zealand, yeah, New Zealanders all the time are putting money weekly, People donate money to help protect our birds, which are not found anywhere else in the world. Um, the importance of protecting these birds, uh, well, they're part of the life cycle and they contribute to the, you know, the, the, the pollinating of the flowers, of the forest trees, the forest plants. They contribute to continuing the life cycle of many insects that we have, which are also unique to New Zealand. People celebrate by protecting and contributing and taking an interest in birds in New Zealand.